I would say the first Emperor album, uh, Immunize the Clips. Um, even though a debut, as you know, in album format, it was kind of constructed of some new material and uh, some previously recorded songs. So I would say that um, we kind of ended up with our kind of musical platform, you know, the, of our expression. It kind of culminated to that. But whereas anthems, at least in my you know perception of it, is kind of the first album you know, written as a whole piece, you know, for the purpose with, within that, um, you know, with the experience of having created this kind of soundscape where we operate within, and we could finally, you know, write a full album in, with that in mind. With this being in the early years of Norwegian black metal, um, you know, the, we were in a situation where band members were not necessarily available at all times. Uh, there, uh, there was a lot of controversy, you know, in those days, and uh, which definitely helped shape, uh, I think, uh, uh, also the content on the album. I, I think uh, with Eclipse, we, we had uh, a lot of more fantasy style lyrics and, and it was kind of co-written and everything. But by the time we did Anthems, I, I ended up writing all the lyrics and it, it was with a bit more depth, it was a bit more from personal experience. And obviously, in those years in between, we, we grew up quite fast. I think uh, around Anthems, it, it was still very much influenced by that kind of black metal ideal, you know, based on, in, in my case, uh, Bathory's Bloodfire Death, which kind of still had that raw black metal um, core to it, but kind of pushing it with a more epic uh, kind of soundscape and kind of almost breaking into clean vocals, you know, that's, that's, uh, with, with that record uh, with Bathory. Of course, prior to Emperor, we had death metal bands or trash metal bands or metal bands, you know, like going the grades. And, and um, uh, what I always found lacking in this kind of very dense expression was that you could, it could only go that far, you know, because it's kind of started at 10 and, and uh, some of the uh, some of the inspiration to do this kind of orchestral mock-ups, of course, with a very simple means that we had, was to kind of at least simulate that kind of dynamic and emotional build that we get when the choir, choir comes in, it, it, it becomes larger, you know, and that, that was the grand idea, I think, to just make everything bigger and more out of this world as possible. At that time, you know, uh, on a very unconscious level, it's still in that mindset that it needs to feel like an album. It's not just a collection of songs. You know, it's the whole underlying element is still there. And, <clears throat> and that is something that I've kind of more cultivated through my solo career, that I've been much more conscious about when when setting out. There are different elements, I think, to the early Emperor days and also maybe especially the anthems that, yeah, that resonate through everything I've done up until now. And even though my, uh, the kind of the dressing up of the albums are, are, are different and um, I think at the core of it, of course, it's my type of vocals, those kind of screaming vocals and distorted guitar. That is my most n natural tools of expression. And um, more uh, on a music phil philosophical level, I think that uncompromisingness, that you know, that ruthless, just uh, very selfish, no considerations of anyone else, you know, making this music, and not really giving a shit what people thought about it, and quite the contrary, uh, uh, is something that I, I still try to focus on, and because in the end, I think that is what. Uh, led us to have a career in the first place, that I'm still here, you know, on my seventh solo album. That's the only way I can create something, you know, worthwhile to listen to. If I don't have that kind of dedication to it, I can't expect that excitement or dedication from anyone listening to it.